revitalizing the spirit, restoring our community. Urban Family Talk. Yes, sir. Listen, uh, that, that Barter study doesn't surprise me in the least. Mm. Uh, I, had a, I had a pastor back in the mid-90s. He was an old man. He was like a father to me. He said pass on. But he, uh, he and I got into a discussion one time about how many people in the church actually had a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm. And, uh, and he asked me what I thought, and I thought I would shock him. And I said, I'd say 25% actually have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Mm. And uh, he said, he said you'd be wrong. So mm. I thought what he was going to do was defend the church and talk about how often people are saved. And, how, you know, and, and, and he, he come back and he said, it's somewhere between 5 and 10%. Mm. And uh, I almost fell out of my chair. Now, this was coming from a man who had pastored for 50 years uh, oh. in this particular denomination. And this is a, sure enough, evangelical denomination, my friend. Mm. Yes. But, uh, since he said that to me, and the man was a he pastored for so many years, I respected his opinion to such a degree that I have always considered that an accurate number of people who actually have a, a genuine relationship with Jesus Christ, mm. and, uh, that, and and that that's among the church doors that he was talking about. So uh, I I'm not actually this Barnard study just kind of confirms my dear old brother's words to me way back when. Wow, uh, I, I'm I'm disappointed. I, I yeah. wish it was different, but I don't think that that's. I don't think that it's been. I think you have to go back quite a few years to find to find a significant change in that number. Maybe before the '60s. I don't know. Wow, but, Kevin. Kevin, do you have time for for one follow up question? Yeah, because sure. I'm 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 curious to that. Because here's the thing, and I, I've shared before when I was at the Values Voters Conference, George Barna on the stage at Values Voters said. Just what you're saying now, only 9% of Christians, he said it the opposite way, that 91% of churchgoers don't have a biblical worldview. So that means 9% of church attenders have a biblical worldview. My question to you is, having had this conversation with a pastor who had pastored for half a century, did he offer any reason to you as to why he felt the number of Christ- or churchgoers who had a relationship with Jesus Christ was so low? Well— he he pastored small churches. They eh? he would grow them. He would grow them and then move to another church that was small and grow it. He okay. never if it got up above 150, he left. <laughs> okay. He uh, uh, but he he believed that the church movement had gotten lost. The the, the personality. The, he believed that a large church could not uh, attend to a person's needs, and and uh, and. Uh, form those relationships that was necessary to get people saved that, that a small church could. Mm. And uh, he, he, he kind of blamed it on the large or the mega church movement. Okay. And uh, that, that, that was his opinion. And, and, and now you listen, I, I don't know either way. I, I just prefer small churches myself. But yeah. uh, I will, I'll never forget him. Uh, he was the most humble, wonderful man. Uh, in fact, uh, I, I had a, a very, uh, a very, a less than desirable father myself, but I remember thinking if only he could have been my father, mm. and he, he practically was. Uh, mm. So I, uh, I I I just appreciated him all those years ago, cluing me in on what the real deal was. But you you know, a you you've been church. You know what I'm talking about. I do you're know what you're talking about. People in the pew who do not, they come to church and they're good people, but they do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Urban. Revitalizing the spirit, family, restoring our community. Urban. Family.